Hey everybody, this is Michael from Brighton Musical Circuits. Uh, I'm going to do this in two parts. If you want to skip me talking, just fast forward until you see the oscilloscope. This is the new diode break wave shaper. Uh, what this does is it takes an input signal that would be a waveform, and it's going to split it up into different five different wave bands. So uh, num plus two, that would be the highest voltage one. So that would be the very top peak of a triangle wave. Minus two would be the very bottom peak. Uh, minus one would be like kind of the middle third. Zero would be the absolute center, and plus one would be kind of that top third. Um, and so what you then do after you've broken your signal down into these uh, different bands is you then add them back together using these level knobs. Uh, and these can either invert or uh, put the non-inverted signal together. And so you can have these different little phase changes within a waveform that weren't there before. Uh, and the thresholds for where these uh, voltages break down, that's based on the break voltage, uh, which is this knob down here. And you can use a control voltage to manipulate that break voltage as well. Uh, the only other control besides you know the input and output jacks is our input uh, attenuator. This is going to control how much distortion you have on the end. And also it's going to affect uh, the relative thresholds. Uh, as the waveform gets smaller, the thresholds will seem larger. Um, I'm going to turn a sequence on and I'm going to press play with some knobs. And hopefully you get an idea of what this uh, thing can can do. So as you're starting out, we have, uh, I've set this up to be as about as clean of a sine wave uh, as I can get. This is just our input signal. Uh, I'm gonna start uh, turning some knobs. Uh, in a minute, I'm gonna add control voltage from an envelope follower. Um, but yeah, uh, so here's some idea of what this does. Thanks for watching, everybody. Um, uh, I hope people like this module.